So why aren't we using an engine? Oh, you're filming. Uh -huh. Hi, we're actually having a misfortune. Our <laughs> engine, our engine stalled right as we were about to get to Whitey's Fish Camp. So instead of having a nice dinner, we are rowing back two miles. Yay. <laughs> it won't restart. Won't restart. Don't know. What, don't want to spend too much time troubleshooting it Especially here. with the sun about to go down. We are anchored out just off the St. John's River and we wanted to give you a kind of a dinghy story. So we are way overdue on doing a video tour of our entire dinghy setup. We have an Achilles, we have a dinghy caddy, and we want to share why we chose all those uh, parts. But we also had selected a Suzuki 15 horsepower outboard engine to go with our inflatable rig. And so we've had that engine for over a year, and we bought it new. Um, in so July 2017. Yeah, so so new engine, under warranty, um, Suzuki, very highly rated, and great reviews on it. It's a, uh, uh, get out of the sun a little bit there. Yeah, very, very highly rated, great reviews. It's a, a really good quality engine, and it served us well for the past year until two nights ago and so so we just left jacksonville if you're following our travelogue series and we are cruising up the st john's to sanford and back taking about a month to do it and a lot of that trip is going to be anchoring in awesome places and then like exploring this. by dinghy and so you know one of our first stops our actually very first stop as we headed up the river was we anchored out in a uh, doctor's lake which is the the first big outlet of the river as you head south. Um, we'd anchored out and we'd heard there was this really great fish camp called Whitey's Fish Camp that you can dinghy to for dinner. And so we anchored out about two miles from where the creek goes up to Whitey's and set off on, on our dinghy for, for, for dinner. Very excited about this. And cruising across a beautiful evening, afternoon on, on the lake, um, on plane, cruising along fine, slowed down to go into the creek to Whitey's. Dinner is just out of reach ahead of us. The engine sputters, 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 and stops. Uh, we tried several times during the during the row process to get it restarted. Nothing obvious was coming up, and we didn't want to spend time floating around troubleshooting while the sun was setting. It's been, what, about 45 minutes? Um, I thought it's been about two hours, three hours. <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to check the, the photos to see when the yes. we started this rowing process. We got our rainstorm coming in. I think we're getting close, right? Oh yeah. I can't see. I don't know who designed robots. Look, I can actually see the boat. Yay! Achievement. Oh. Bad unlocked of row the dinghy home. And in the morning you did a lot. Yeah, I got up, I got up at dawn the next morning and did more. I checked everything I could think of to check on the engine. Oils look good, um, the fuel looked good, everything looked, looked good. And we've to... always used non-ethanol 92 or 91 yeah, octane, where it's used marine gas in the fuel. We've done all the maintenance on it. And, and it just will not turn on. It would not catch it all. And so fortunately, I, I look, look around and on the Suzuki website, the there's actually just up the entrance of Doctors Lake is Jacksonville Marine, and they are a big giant Suzuki dealer. So I call them and say, "Hey, can I bring my motor in and you know buy water?" And uh, we we get it there. We actually row it to their their ramp, and they pull it out, pull the dinghy out of the water, and uh, they take it back. And they're like, "Ah, oh, it shouldn't be a problem. Let's figure this out." A couple hours later, they're just kind of calling me up, and they're embarrassed. They're like, "Um." We, by all rights, this engine should start. It's got good compression. It's got good spark. We've used it, tr tried it with our fuel. Um, yeah, they've, they've, you know, done what they can to get fresh fuel in there just to try out in case something was wrong with ours. And it just will not uh, come to life. And so they need to troubleshoot further. And well, this engine, the, the Suzuki is one of the technical innovations on them is they, even their tiny little 15 horsepower engine has an electronic fuel injection system even the pull start version, which means there's no battery, so that computer has to be powered by by the engine spinning. As you first pull it, it gets just enough power to wire up the computer and have it wake up and start the engine up. Um, 
But for them to plug in their diagnostic computer into it, they need a special cable, it turns out, that provides power to the engine, not just talk to the computer. And so they call Suzuki, and Suzuki won't even help them diagnose the thing until, well, give us the error code from the engine. Um, and they're like, well, you never gave us a cable for this kind of engine. We're one we, of have, your... we have your dealer kit. <laughs> and they actually started calling around to every other Suzuki dealer they could find. In, in the area. In Jacksonville, major city. And none of them have ever heard of this cable. Or if they have, they have only ever seen it in the possession of a factory rep who has used it for troubleshooting. They've, nobody had an idea how to talk to our engine. Short of Suzuki said they could send them a cable and it'd take about a week. To even so, find out what's wrong. So if we were still at a marina with a monthly stay, that'd be no problem. We uh, would just deal with it, work with it. But here we are. We're starting. We have one month left on our cruising season yes. before we return to our RV. We really want to maximize the time and not be spending time fiddling around with trying to get this engine diagnosed and fixed. And if it's going to take even a week for yes. someone to get a cable in, first even to know what's wrong yes. with it. So if even Suzuki-trained mechanics... Um, can't diagnose this without any any assistance of a cable. Um, you know, we'd had no hope of doing any sort of diagnosis on our own. They called around, and we then called Suzuki's uh, general customer su support line, and they're like, "Well, you should talk to your local dealer." I was like, "We have." Yeah, the dealer right. says we're up a creek. And we were literally up a creek. <laughs> we were literally with up just a creek, paddle. Just paddles. And then Suzuki's like, "Well, every one of our dealers should have this cable. It's required." I'm like. No, none of them in Jacksonville seem to have this. So you've got an issue here. And they're like, okay, we'll call you back. Well, Suzuki never called so us back. We're, we're now four days later and no Suzuki, call back. Suzuki from hasn't them. called us back. So the decision that we made is well, even if this engine could get fixed, and it was probably hopefully just a minor thing. <laughs> and it's, it's still under warranty. It's so still, it should be yeah. all be covered by warranty yes. if it is a, like the computer went out or something like that. Yes. Um, I have lost um, confidence that as cruisers who are going to be traveling and depending upon service in the places that we are, that if most Suzuki dealers don't have the cable that is needed to <laughs> service our engine, it's not going to be the right choice for us. Right. So, so we, we actually asked the, the mechanics at the, at the Suzuki dealer what, what they would do and like, hey, we, we need something so we can get back on the water tomorrow. We don't want to do our trip up the St. John's without a dinghy or just paddling. And they're like, you know, honestly you'd be better off with a Yamaha. So <laughs> we, we called ahead to some of the shops um, on our next stops, found Isle of Palm in Green Cove Springs. And, and they had like three different engine choices for us in the Yamaha. In stock, yes. And they agreed to take the Suzuki that we had in on consignment trade. Get it warranty repaired. And they would handle the repair for us. And it, so just, it, it just worked out. It's like, okay, so we need something. To, what can we get tomorrow? It turns out Isle of Palms actually had a used, gently used Yamaha in fabulous condition. There it is. It is a 9.9 a .9 instead of 15 horsepower. We were concerned that might not be enough power, but it is just fine so far for getting both of us up on plane and moving along at 15 miles per hour, which is more I than think, we need. Yes, we don't need to go 20 miles an hour. We can go 15. That is fine. Palms was... A, so accommodating. We called them and said, hey, we're cruisers. We don't have a car. We don't have a dinghy to get ashore. How can we wait, mate, work this out to get to your shop? And they said, hey, call Black Creek Marina, which is at the entrance of Black Creek. Um, they didn't have any spots. Their docks are still Irma damaged. They didn't have any spot for us, but they said, we got There's a great an anch anchorage right here, and you, you are you, welcome to row. <laughs> and you can use our dinghy uh, thing and handle it all right there. Folks at Black Creek Marina, amazing, awesome, friendly, friendly people. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Isle of Palm, Paul came and picked us up after he shut down the shop, um, let us tour and see all of the engine options, discuss what was up, took an initial look at the Suzuki to make sure that they were truly comfortable taking it in on consignment. They were, they're awesome. And then the next morning, uh, Woody brought it out to us, uh, met us, we rode ashore again, yep. and uh, got it hooked up. Had a couple initial problems with it, yes. but uh, all moved out. Yep. Kyle, their mechanic. Yeah, the, came the over. Kyle mechanic came out because there there were a few glitches in the system, maybe about bad fuel line on the new new engine, but came out, got it set up. We test drove it, and it worked. And, and then, <laughs> big shout out to Kyle, a uh, amazing young man. He spent a <laughs> lot of time with us, teaching us about the engine yes. and maintenance and how the parts all work. And super super appreciated that <laughs> yes and then um a, a nice shout out actually to, to jacksonville marine they, uh, they Suzuki. So they did charge us a thing oh that's sweet of them oh yeah they're, they're giving suzuki a piece of their pints too good 
they, they spent several hours with the, the engine and were just embarrassed that they couldn't do a thing with it. And we've agreed to a work order to yeah. pay for diagnostics. We're paying for di minimum one hour diagnostic time and they tore it up. They're like, it, it doesn't, it, no, this is, this is Suzuki's fault. We're going to call Suzuki and tell them we solved the problem that they wouldn't help us with on the phone. Bye by telling the customer to go get a Yamaha. So they're so, very unhappy with Suzuki as well. So all the local folks in the Jacksonville area, St. John's area, just amazing, helpful, supportive people that helped. I, it seems like this is gonna be the right choice for us. Yamaha is much better supported in a dealer network. And, and the important thing, it's a much better color match for it our It does, boat. it matches the Achilles so yeah. much better uh, than that. that black engine was. So it's an aesthetic <laughs> upgrade, that's always important. And it's lighter. It is lighter weight, so it's easier for us to hoist up with the dinghy caddy. Uh, easier for us to take off and set on the, the deck for when we have to do like a... If we ever wanna do maintenance on it fully ourselves. And so, yeah, so we think we've, we've got a nice upgrade going here. We've only put a uh, probably an hour on the dinghy just in our shakedown cruise with it. So, But it's already broken in because it's already gently used. It's a 2014 model. It still has a year and a half of warranty left right. on it. And uh, so we don't have to go through the break-in period again, which is actually a plus over going with a brand new one, I right. think. Yeah, because we we're got we in the middle of a, a cruise at the St. John's and we don't want to have to be puttering for just the next 20 hours of doing break-ins on the <laughs> engine. So now we've got a dinghy we could properly use. It had just been fully serviced by Jacksonville Marine. So, no, uh, Isle of Palms. Oh, Isle of Palms, yeah, Isle of Palms. <laughs> um, so they, it's got new fuel pumps and it's been, been serviced up, down, and sideways. So we hopefully are really good to go. So that's <sighs> why we changed our engine out. Um, got a good rowing workout a couple times out of the process. And I think it convinced me that we need to row more often because that actually was a very tranquil experience, minus the whole worried about the engine thing. And also minus the worried about what if the current picks up when we start drifting the wrong direction. Oh yeah, all those little yes. things. But, but. It's, it's <laughs> but it was actually nice to get some good rowing in. So we will be working on getting a full tour of the setup for those curious about the, the options that we selected and yeah. installed over a year and a half ago. Yes, yeah, so we've had a lot of people in particular curious about the Davit setup we did. Um, so we'll got, we have a dinghy caddy, we'll give a tour of how that works. We have an Achilles rigid inflatable boat with aluminum bottom, we'll give a tour of that. And now and, we have a Yamaha. And now we have a Yamaha instead of a Suzuki. So I'm really glad we didn't film that other video. Because <laughs> it'd be already <laughs> obsolete. <laughs> yes. Okay. Your first impressions? Harder to start, I'll get used to that. Uh, but the throttle is a lot easier to have those lot less touching and it doesn't dump my hand. Thanks. So it's a month later. We thought we'd give you a little bit of an update. So I also followed up with Suzuki's Facebook page and to their social media manager and the response that I got there was that Suzuki um, does start dealers out with a starter kit. Uh, the cable does not seem to be part of that and they feel it is the dealer's responsibility to add specialty diagnostic tools to their kit as their dealership progresses. So it seems like Suzuki does not have um, interest in providing education to their dealer network on the supplies that they need. Particularly for the, this is like a, a, an engine that kind of um, falls through the cracks because it's a, a, a computer controlled engine, but it doesn't have a battery. And it's, it, that, admittedly that is a, a small, uh, niche of, of Suzuki's product line, but that people were just kind of at a loss of how to get any troubleshooting out of this engine so we, is on Suzuki. That's their problem. So we do have the part number. It's down there again. <laughs> um, if you have a similar engine with Suzuki, you might want to order it and have it on hand. That would help with service problems. I know if we kept ours, that's what we would be traveling with. Um, very happy with our decision, though, to switch to the Yamaha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We did hear from Isla Palm yeah. yes. on the diagnostics on what was wrong with the yes. Suzuki. So Isla Palms, um, we, we discovered that the, we did have bad fuel because the Yamaha had Yamaha had trouble with the fuel we had when we uh, first installed it. So they used that to go dive deeper into the engine, and they were able to um, get it started. They reported it, quote, ran poopy, which is, I guess, a technical term. Um, but then they took it further apart and uh, found oily uh, spark plugs and uh, gunk duct injectors. They cleaned it, and now the engine is apparently running perfectly. So wasn't a warranty issue, no issue with the Suzuki. It's not a quality yeah. issue at all. Yeah. Um, it was our fuel supply. And, um, yeah, and theoretically Jacksonville Marine should have been able to go deeper and solve that on their own as well. But they just hit such a roadblock with Suzuki that I think they were kind of disgusted with the process and you know they, they, they said, we can't do anything further for you. And it also showed us the weakness in <laughs> the Suzuki dealer network. So. 
Overall, good resolution. If you're in the market for a slightly used, still under warranty, 15 horsepower manual pull start Suzuki engine, and you want to order the cable, yes. <laughs> uh, it is uh, up for consignment at Isle of Palm in Green Cove Springs, uh, sitting there waiting for a new owner. Yes. And uh, we're now up the St. John's River and enjoying our time in Sanford, Florida for the winter. Yeah, so stay tuned for all the, the videos we've got of this trip that will be coming out soon.